Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to part 33 of What If Kurama gave Naruto a dojutsu. Remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual. Share this to all of your friends on your social media platform, and also go ahead. On my second channel, I posted two new episodes. I post the episode of Naruto, the God of Shinobi, and also What If Naruto got a new bloodline. So switch across and enjoy those. And on this channel, I just posted an episode of What If Tsunade was Naruto's mother. So go ahead and check it out and enjoy. And after this, I'm going to be posting What If Naruto was trained to be a mercenary. So yeah guys, stay in tune and enjoy all the lovely What Ifs coming your way. And if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the anime making family and be a part of the channel. And thank you all for your help and your support guys. And comment down below and tell me if you're new. I'll be replying and talking back to all of you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the last time we left off, Naruto and his team all went with Jiraiya. As they went to find Tsunade, they then found her. As Tsunade gave Naruto one week, the master the high Shin, and she will come back with them. Tsunade then went off to face off against Orochimaru. As Naruto and his team got there with Fu, as Naruto met Fu, the seventh tail Jinjuliki, and he told her that she can come back to Konoha with him, and she's under the protection of the Uzumaki Namikaze clan. So they then faced off against Orochimaru. Naruto used the Harishin and defeated Kabuto, as Orochimaru knew that he had to retreat with so many people along with Jiraiya against him. So he had to retreat and with that, Naruto and his team head back to Konoha. Tasumi and Hana also told Saratobe about the duel and Saratobe knew that he would have to tell Naruto about that. There was so much trouble with Naruto. So the last part we left off, Naruto and his team all entered the office with Tsunade. So if you guys haven't yet switched across the playlist and check it out for yourself. Naruto and his team entered the office as Saratobe saw a new face. Tsunade, you're back, he said. It's good to see you too, Saratobe sensei, Tsunade said, making the old sensei smile and nod at her. After a detailed description of the mission by everyone in the room, Saratobe was shocked that Orochimaru went to Tsunade to fix his arms. But he was happy that he didn't got the chance. He was also shocked that Naruto managed to master the Hiroshin, as he thought that technique like those will be a milestone for Naruto. But Naruto is really amazing. That's amazing Naruto. I can't believe that you were able to complete it. Minato would be proud of you, Saratobi told him. Naruto just nodded as he thanked Saratobi for the compliment. As Saratobi looked over the mission report one more time and gave them all a smile. Well, it is obvious that this was a S rank mission. Naruto, Kiba, Haku, I will have your appropriate mission earnings sent in your account in a few days, Saratobi told them, as all of them nodded. Saratobi then glanced at Fu, who was hiding behind Naruto as she held down to his shoulders. It was slightly cute to everyone, but not knowing how Fu was raised and treated in Taki, she was kind of scared at powerful figures who like Kage's and those things. And who is this? Hiruzun asked them all. Naruto smirked as he held on to Fu and placed her right next to him. But she grabbed his jacket, pulling him closer to her as she didn't want her to leave her alone here. But Naruto didn't really mind or did anyone else. This is Fu, Jiji. She's a rogue ninja who ran away from Taki because they were abusing to her. We found her when we were looking for Tsunade. She's also a tail beast, the tail beast of the Nadabi. Saratobi widened his eyes and inspect Fu for a second. Naruto, he then said, as his tone got serious. You know we will have to return her to Taki unless she has something that would keep her in Konoha. Saratobi revealed as Fu tightened her grip on Naruto's clothes as she turned to him for help, but Naruto had a big smile on his face. Well, she does have something keeping her here. She's under the protection. 
of the Uzumaki Namikaze clan. And if I remember the laws, if a person is under the protection of the clan head, they are allowed to stay in the village for as long as they want and the clan head would be responsible for their actions. Naruto stated and it amazed even everyone that he read upon all that. Well, that is correct Naruto. But are you sure that you can trust her? Sarutobi asked. Not wanting Naruto to make a mistake as a clan head, so young, one that he might regret in the future. Naruto narrowed his eyes as he turned to Fu who gave him a pleading look. He then smiled. I am sure Gigi, he said. Saratobi sighed with a nod as he allowed Fu to stay but he told her to read up on Konoha laws and other things. Fu thanked him for his kindness but not everything was finished yet. Naruto, there is one more thing I need to talk to you about. Saratobi told him in a warning tone that made Naruto know that it was bad news. As everyone in there know by Saratobi's tone that it was something serious. What is it Gigi? Naruto asked. It has to do with the Inuzaka clan, Saratobi said, as immediately Naruto and Kiba wanted to know what was up. Alright then Gigi, Haku, take Fu to the compound and tell mom that she is with us. I will inform you about the situation when I get back, Naruto said, as Haku just nodded as she walked off with Fu. Kiba decided to stay as this involved his clan and he wanted to know what was going on. And Sunade and Jiraiya and Shizune stayed as well. Alright Gigi, what is it? What's wrong? Is it Tasumi or Hana? Naruto asked as he wanted to know. As Kiba slightly tensed when Naruto said Tasumi or Hana as he didn't want nothing to happen to his family. No Naruto, nothing is wrong with them. But it is a matter that involves the clan. You see, three days ago, Tasumi and Hana came to me and they told me about the internal issue in their clan. It seems that someone in the clan doesn't want you being with Tasumi and he wants a fight. You and mate with her and rule the clan. His name is Akira Inuzaka and he's considered the strongest male in the compound, Saratobi told Naruto. Naruto narrowed his eyes and gritted his teeth at the information. This sound, like Akira, were treating Tasumi like a damn prize or possession. It also didn't sit right with Kiba either as he knew about Akira also. He knew Akira was the strongest male, only being taught by his mother as the strongest member. But while he was strong, he was the most arrogant and jerk that everyone in the clan really didn't like to put up with. Some members had told Tatsumi to kick him out of the compound but she always said that the Inuzaka take care of their own unless it was something inexcusable. He wants to fight me over Tatsumi, Naruto asked as Saratobi nodded. Since it was a clan issue, he couldn't dispute it itself. He could if it was a harm to the village but it wasn't any harm. And if I don't fight him, what will happen? asked Naruto. Well, he would win by default and Tasumi will be his. Granted, I think she will fight him to remain single, but he would still be named as the head of the clan anyways. Hirozone replied. Naruto narrowed his eyes as he then looked at the ground with his hair shadowing his eyes. Everyone was silent as they waited for Naruto's response to the situation. As Naruto chakra then flare, as he squeezed his fist, all right, I'll kick his ass. Tasumi is no object, but she's mine, and I refuse to let anyone take her or Hana away from me. Gigi, when do I have to fight him? Asks Naruto, as everyone smile. I am not sure, Naruto. You will have to ask Tasumi or Hana, but I know it might be next week or in a few days just to give you some time to recover from your mission saratobi told him naruto nodded as he walked out the door with kiba following behind him ironic that he's very protective of tasumi and hana i hope i can watch that fight jaria said with a grin 
as Sunavi and Shizuni nodded. Sunavi then raised her hand in the air, 1000 yen, that the kid kick his ass to the ground, Sunavi yelled. There was a silence in the room for a bit as Sunavi gave an embarrassed chuckle and then smiled. Back with Naruto and Kiba, the two boys walked to the Inuzaka compound as Naruto was pissed off. He knew from the Kayubi and Tasumi about being the alpha male that there would be certain challenges but he was still pissed off that someone was trying to steal, take Tasumi from him. Naruto and them then went inside as he and Kiba looked around but there wasn't Tasumi or Hana as he then heard yelling in the back as it was calling a lot of Inuzakas coming over to see what was going on. When they arrived they saw Hana arguing with Akura. Akura you're acting like a spoiled brat. Mom isn't yours to take Hana said as Akura just gritted his teeth and that brat has the right to take her, huh Anna? Sure, he's a Jonin, but he lacked the experience of being one. Face it Anna, both you and Tasumi know I am better to lead the clan than he is. He already has his own clan to lead, so why the hell are you here with us? As Anna faulted for a second, but luckily she was safe. I am here because I love Tasumi and Anna. I care for them as much as my loved ones. I don't see them as objects like you do, Naruto said, making everyone to turn and face him. Some murmured and others seemed rather happy to see Naruto. Akira however gritted his teeth as his body became more feral. Naruto wasn't backing down either as his eyes turned slit and his whiskers got more defined. As Akira's chakra flare, and so did Naruto's. You're just a little brat. Tasumi deserves better than you, and I am just that person, better than you. Naruto narrowed his eyes at Akira. Kibo was right. He's definitely cocky and arrogant. I will never lose to someone like this, Naruto thought. As the Kayubi suddenly smirked on top of his head, as she was in her fox form, well, the baby fox. Damn right you won't Naruto, the Kayubi said with a mental link. What's going on out here? Tasumi suddenly yelled out as she saw Naruto locking eyes with Akira. While she walked up to the two, some of the members told Tasumi what happened and Tasumi instantly scowled at Akira. Naruto broke his gaze from Akira and looked to see Tasumi walking over to them. Akira broke his gaze as he huffed and then walked off. Naruto sighed and most of the clan dispersed when the argument stopped. Tasumi sighed along with Naruto but she then gave him a small smile. Well, it wasn't what you expected, was it Naruto? Tasumi asked. Naruto simply rubbed the back of his head. Kiba had asked how all of this happened and Hana went on to explain the situation to him. He always was a stubborn one. But now he's gone overboard, Tasumi said. Everyone nodded in agreement with her as they knew that Akira didn't really love Tasumi. He just wanted to be the head of his clan. So, Tasumi, when do we fight? asked Naruto. Tasumi raised her eyebrow, as did Hana, as the both of them then turned and smiled at him. As Naruto saw them smiling, what is it? Tasumi and Hana are minds. And I'm not giving them to anyone, Naruto said. As the both of them blush a bit after Naruto said that. After a while, Kiba stretched with a groan as he then started to walk into the house. Well, I'm gonna go change. Tenten and I have a date in an hour, Kiba said as he walked off. Oh yeah, that reminds me, Hana. Before I left, I was able to book a new restaurant that come out about last week. Naruto told her as Hana raised her eyebrow but then she gasped and she remembered. You book the red dragon? Hana asked as Naruto nodded. Hana knew that the place was incredibly expensive but with Naruto assets it wouldn't be impossible for him to get a spot in the restaurant. Yeah I wanted to take you on a date out there but the mission and all came up so I waited and I'm telling you now Naruto told her. 
Hannah smiled at that as Tatsumi chuckled while patting Hannah on the shoulder. Well, Hannah, you seem like you have a busy night schedule. Wish I can go, but I have some mission reports to fill out. As Tatsumi then walked off, leaving the two. As Hannah looked over at Naruto and blushed. So, when do we go? Hannah asked. It's tomorrow. I will pick you up around 7, Naruto told her. As Hannah nodded and then gave him a quick kiss on the cheek. Alright, I'll go find something to wear then. Oh, Naruto, the fight is next week, in the back, where all is the witness, Hannah told him. As Naruto took that information to heart and stored it in his memory. Alright then, thank you for the information, Hannah. I promise you, I won't lose you or Tasumi to him, Naruto said. Hannah just giggled at Naruto's confidence, but she stopped right at the doorway. Oh Naruto, I forgot to tell you that Kurunai and Uncle wanted to see you about something when you got back. Naruto nodded as he left the compound. As he then used the Hiroshin as he vanished, as he arrived at the Namikaze compound because he placed seals around there. While Naruto was busy at the Inuzaka compound, Haku had took Fu here as Fu was looking around and she already liked the place. We have lots of rooms, so pick one Fu, Haku told her as Fu nodded and started to walk around looking through the place. When Fu picked a room, she quickly placed her things down but she didn't unpack as Haku wanted to show her more around the place and also she introduced her to Kushina. As Kushina invited her to stay as long as she liked. Fu then thanked her as she then went and looked at the seal that Naruto told her about as she was reading the book because she wanted to know how to let the Nadabi out like how Naruto released the Kayube. Suddenly Naruto then appeared in the room startling Fu. Oh sorry Fu I didn't mean to disturb your reading. I will leave you alone Naruto said as he was about to leave but Fu stopped him as she was blushing and looking at the ground. Thank you Naruto for this she said. You're putting yourself and your clan on the line for me. I have never had anyone protect me this much so I just wanted to thank you, Fu said. No need to thank me Fu. I would do it again if I had the chance. You're always welcome here, Naruto told her. Fu gave a small nod as few tears rolled down her face. As something then clicked in Naruto's mind. Oh yeah. I have to meet Kurnai and Anko. I completely forgot about that, he said with a small chuckle. Alright, when I get back later, Fu, I will help you with the seal in Jutsu, he said, as he then took off. A couple of minutes later, he found Anko and Kurnai at a training ground. Hello, Anko. Hello, Kurnai, Naruto said, as he dropped down out of the tree, as he walked towards the two of them with a smile. Hey kid, I take it Hannah told you to meet us, Uncle asked, as Naruto nodded. That's right, Uncle. So what did you two need me for, Naruto asked. Uncle and Kurunai then grinned at each other, and for a second, Naruto wondered if he asked the right question. Well, Naruto, you have the Sharingan, right? Kurunai asked. Naruto nodded, not knowing where they were going with this, but he decided to hear them out. I want us to have... A Genjutsu fight, I heard about the Sharingan and the Genjutsu, and its power, and we like you to train us to overcome it, Kurunai said, causing Naruto to raise her eyebrow. The both of them wanted to be trained by him? That was a dream, something he didn't think he would heard. Jonin senseis wanted him to train them, well, at least he was a Jonin as well, but he was happy to hear this. Well kid, would you teach us the mashup to the Sharingan? Asked Uncle. Naruto was about to reply, but then he snickered by accident, making the both of them look at him with confused expressions. So, basically, I'm your guinea pig, Naruto asked. Uncle snickered as Kurunai narrowed her eyes at him. Uncle then pushed off with a burst of speed as she rested her hand on Naruto's shoulder. Oh, don't be like that, kid. You're always training, so help us out. We really appreciate it. 
What can we do to make you say yes? Anko asks. Anko, Naruto is dating Tasumi. I don't think she would like you hitting on Naruto like that, Kuronai said. Anko simply gave a grin. As Naruto closed his eyes for a second and smirk. Alright, he said, as he opened back his eyes. I will help the both of you out. But I've got one request, Naruto told them. The both of them raised the eyebrow, waiting to hear what he would say. As Naruto then gave a mysterious grin that made their hair stand up, as they were wondering what was he going to ask, especially Kuronai. It's simple. And if you guys win, I will train you for free. But if I win, I get one date from each of you for the training. Naruto said with a smirk. Kuronai widened her eyes and so did Anko. Fine by me. What do you say, Kuronai? Anko asked. As Kuronai looked at the both of them, she then sighed. Alright, I guess. What is it? She asked. As Naruto grin became wider, as he then summoned Shadow Clones, he summoned six of them, as three of them had the Sharingan and the other three had the Byakugan. If you two can take these six downs, I will train you and I lose, but if you lose to one of them, I win. Goodbye me, said Anko, as she read the Kunai, as she looked at Kurunai to see if she was ready. Kuronai then pulled out a kunai from her pouch also. Be prepared Naruto, you just made the worst bet of your life, Kuronai said. Anko nodded and the real Naruto leaned up on a tree with a smile as the both of them charged at his clones. Well, I would have helped them anyway, but this is more interesting, right Kayubi? Naruto asked. The Kayubi chuckled as she jumped off of Naruto's head as she turned back into her real form. I leaned on the tree with Naruto. You're such a natural prankster, Naruto, the Kayubi told him. Well, I try, Naruto said, as he saw Anko get kicked in the stomach. As the Kayubi and Naruto stood up, as they watched the battle, well, the spar. It went on like this for a while, as Naruto and the Kayubi chuckled. Two clones were left, and Kuronai and Anko were on the ground, panting. Anko had to curse the fact that Naruto was skilled enough to earn the Jonin position. Apparently, Naruto was able to master exercise where his clone could take a lot more damage than usual and not dispel, as it was a tough chakra control exercise, but Naruto managed it. As both Anko and Kuronai had to give up, as a clone wouldn't give Kuronai a day to cast a Genjutsu, every time she tried, the clone would just dispel it. As the both of them sigh in frustration, both of them realized that they had a lot to learn. One thing was for sure, they both could improve if it was with Naruto. Naruto then dispel his clones as he walked over to the two, tired Jonin. Both saw the grin on his face as both of them learned an important lesson, don't bet against Naruto. Well, it looks like I win ladies. Since it's late, I will start your training. Tomorrow at 1 of the usual training grounds. For now, the both of you can rest and enjoy the even ear, Naruto told them. So when are you going to take us out on a date? Anko asked as the both of them were grace with another grin from Naruto. I will hold on to that part of the bet. Just rest assured that you two will like it, Naruto said. As he held on to the Kayube and vanished out of sight. Anko sighed as the both of them just lie down on the field. Anko said Kurunai. As Anko looked over to see a serious look on Kurunai's face, we will never speak of this to anyone. As Anko merely chuckled, then her side started to hurt. Oh, what's the matter, Kurunai? I am not afraid of going out with Naruto. Tasumi said that he's a beast in the bed. So, why not jump at the chance? Anko asked. As Kuronai immediately blushed at the words. Because he's so much younger than we are, aren't you worried about what people think? As Uncle scoff, like if she was caring or worrying about people. Please, the kid is like an adult in the ninja world, and Tasumi already went at that chance, so why shouldn't you or I? asks Uncle, 
as Kurunai had to give Uncle that point, she was right. I hate it when you make sense, said Kurunai, as Uncle just nodded and laughed. Well, then if you have no problems, why don't you date him first? Kurunai asked. I like to, but it is a kid decision. I guess the both of us will just be on edge for the couple of days, said Uncle. As Kurunai sighed, back with Naruto, Naruto immediately came at his compound as he saw Fu, Haku and Kushina practicing outside. The blonde chuckled when he saw them working as he decided to went upstairs but Haku stopped him. Naruto, I have something to give you. Haku said, what is it? Naruto asked. As Haku then went inside of the house as she then came back with a large stack of paper. Haku, what the hell is this? Naruto asked. Come with me, Haku said, as they walked back inside, as Haku placed the papers on the table in the living room. Haku then smiled. An Anvo came and gave me these papers. Since I'm your first clan member, they gave it to me. It's your clan regulations, responsibilities, along with some other things about people who will join your clan in the near future. At this, Naruto mentally shuddered. So this was a dreaded paperwork that all Kages fear, as he now understand how Sarutobi felt, and he now know that Snavi was going to go through hell as well. All right, thanks, Haku. I will look it over. Naruto said, as he could have used his shadow clones to look it over, but sometimes you just have to do these things on your own. As he looked at the first paper, it was about the clan responsibility as the clan leader and some finalization. Naruto signed his signature at the bottom of the paper and write in some extra things before placing it over to one that's done. As he then smiled, knowing that Sasuke must be going through this also, as he can imagine the emo king burning all of the papers with a fire jutsu. Man, this is so boring Naruto whined, but he did it anyway. He then heard the laugh of Fu, Haku and Kushina as he turned and glared at them. Kayubi, are any of the foxes good with managing? Naruto asked. As the Kayubi nodded, Naruto then bit his thumb as he ran through hand signs. Summoning Jutsu he said as there was a puff of smoke as it soon disappeared to show a fox with red fur and one tail as it then looked around and then looked at Naruto and bowed. Naruto, how may I help you? The fox asked, as Naruto placed the fox on the couch and grinned. Think you can help me with some paperwork? Naruto asked, as the fox looked at a large stack and nodded. Of course, Naruto, it shouldn't be that hard, the fox said, as Naruto grinned, and the two then went over the paperwork. With Tasumi, Hana, and Kiba, the three of them were currently in the couch, relaxing from the hard day as Akira was really being a jerk about everything as he brought up this all and now they will have to go through a lot of problems. So mom, this definitely set the mood of a drama, doesn't it? Hana asked. As Tasumi gave a tired groan, she watched the laugh at the comment but she was too tired at the moment to laugh but she decided to reply, I wasn't one for romance after your father left but since Naruto, I can now see your point, Hana. Even if this entire situation pisses me off, Tasumi said with a growl. Well, it is Akira's own fault. I acknowledge Naruto as your mate, mom, and no one else, Kiba said. Yeah, said Hana. You two have become quite attached to Naruto, said Tasumi, as she looked at the both of them. As she then slowly got up, all right, you two. I'm going to bed, she said, as she was tired. Me too, said Hannah, as she had a blush mark on her face. Why are you blushing, asked Kiba. Oh, it's because she's going on a date with Naruto tomorrow, said Tasumi. But Hannah didn't give any of them to response, as she ran upstairs as she went to bed, leaving Kiba all alone, as Kiba just lie on the couch. Back with Naruto, three hours later. Come on Naruto, only 120 more papers to go, the fox said, 
as Naruto started to curse out hell as he couldn't believe there were so many papers after he went through so much. But guys, I'm gonna be ending this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to be posted. Remember, share to all of your friends on your social media platform. But for now, I'm out. Peace.